on here. Okay, back with another live stream. Um, I uh, kept kind of alluding to it a little bit in my previous stream tonight. Um, I want to do a little short video on this tablet um, that I uh, let me get it. To, well, let me make sure my sound's working right and everything first. I know I was trying to do something. I couldn't remember what it was. That I uh, yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Go back to my. Yeah, go there and I can just look in on and see that it's live without. Uh, we didn't see that, but that's all right. Okay, so I got this tablet. <coughs> I, can, I can go back in there and see that it's live without the um, the live page control panel. It, it, it uses too many resources. Even for this this monster machine I'm running right now. Okay. Um, yeah, let me get my endoscope over here where I can use it. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to be able to do it. I can't move. I can't. Uh, I didn't even. I, my, my wireless setup crapped out on me again, and I didn't realize it for about 10 minutes or five minutes. So I'm just stick to the SM58. Sometimes that'll quit on me once in a while. Some crazy things happen, you know. You might accidentally bump something or turn something, or, or of course, very light. You know, cables can come loose and stuff like that. So there's, you, it's always good to have a backup. I don't have one right now, but it should be all right. Usually is. Okay, so here's the tablet. I've already got it uh, busted open here. It's a 10 inch. Um, can't remember the brand name that it's called. It's one of those China tablets. And on one side, I don't know if that'll show up. No, I'll have to try and show that on the, uh, banging into my mic. I'll have to try and show that on the endoscope. Um, so let's just get on the endoscope now. Okay, there we go. Now, what I was going to show, for one thing, was the... Uh, Okay, it's a it's a phablet. It's got place for two SIM cards and a SD card or TF card. They they they, they use that TF label a lot. So they're upside down the, the words. Now over here, <coughs> something <coughs> I figured out. I couldn't. I was looking at it with my magnifying glass and everything, and, and you can kind of see it there. That that cover doesn't come off. It looks like a cover, but it's not made to come off. I guess they, I don't know if some models, you know, they can change the settings in the machine and it comes off. Or, I'll show you the little lid. If I can reach it. Yep, I'm banging into everything. Yeah, this is the little lid that goes on the one that comes off. And, uh, it's you know it's kind of oddly it's not hard to get off but you gotta kind of well I got up under the corner here and it started it you know with these plastic snap together stuff you uh, you don't want to uh, get too rough with them you'll break them you know so and w while I was trying to take this one off instead of it popping up like the other one did. Uh, it started popping open, so I thought, oh, I thought it could be easier, it could be hard, and so before I knew it, I was like, oh, I'll just see, what, see if I can get it open, and uh, it came right open real easy. Uh, you got to watch those wires. You don't want to overextend them. Let's see. I think I'll, yeah, we'll keep it like that. Uh, the thing that's wrong with, there's only, th the only thing, it's, the reason I opened it up and the reason was looking into it is because it has got to where it will only run when it's plugged in. Seems just fine. Um, I'm trying to see. I think I have plenty. Yeah, there seems to be plenty of light if I gave it any more. That's a pretty good size battery. It's really thin. Um, I wanted to get, see if I could get the numbers on here. Those upside down now. Yeah, here we go. Okay. 
TG on the top, 11.4 WH, what hours, 3.8 volt, 259692. I want, I want to try to find a new one. I'm not going to do it tonight because I've already spent all afternoon and all night. It's all, all 3 in the morning now and making videos and stuff. Well, and washing clothes. I washed a bunch of clothes. CA362720. One one four five. I'll read them numbers again. Two five nine six nine two. C A three six two seven two oh one one four five. I can't hold still very well at all. And here's the uh that's really all there is in that area. As a matter of fact, this is the this is the motherboard over here. There's a ribbon cable coming out. Let's go to buttons, I think. So, I don't know what it's going to. Um, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, these are very, very thin wires. I'm really worried about breaking them before I get it back together. And I've had it sitting around here all evening and took apart. But and I, luckily, I didn't bump, you know, pick it up, forget, bump into it or any of that stuff. So let's see what happens if I do that. Is that better or worse? Not really. Okay, so uh, I really, to get to where I can see it, I guess I just need to, yeah, I can just, oh, I can loosen this up. Let me go ahead and get off this camera while I'm doing it. So, oh, that thing can be really hard to turn. Well, I think I end up having to turn it hard in order to get it to stay where I want it. But I'm going to have to put it on back on the screen to, to be able to move it to the de depth I want to get a good clear picture. I think that's about it right there. Once it quits moving, oops. Yeah, I think that's about as good as I'll get. It's not too bad, really. I'm going to figure out which way makes it straight in the camera. There we go. There's no indication on the endoscope where up and down and right and left is. Now, those letters are a little small, but I don't think they could really be read. I might be able to get to where I could read them, but those are pretty small letters. Oh, there we go. They're upside down. So I still wasn't near close enough for it. So, um, but yeah, you can't, the, the tripod legs won't let you get, you know, the lower I put it, the more the tripod legs get in the way, you know, because it's, oh, let's see, B battery, my mic's in the way too, but I can't move it, can't really raise, straighten it up anymore, let's see, J-I, I think, and it looks like it says GMC. Probably G and D, yeah, ground. Is this a black wire? Ground and V bat voltage battery to the battery, okay. And what about these others? Can I get to work and see them? Mic, SP, speaker one, speaker two, okay. And what's the other one? V, V. I can't turn it wouldn't help to try to turn it around I wouldn't be able to I think that's well, one's blue and one's red I think that is probably something to do with the sensing of the charge of the battery so that's what those uh, wires are that are coming up to the other side that's the speakers yeah. they're not for something this small, the speakers aren't that bad, is it? But anyway, um, I wanted to kind of have an overall picture of it. And all this around the battery is just empty space. And... Uh, and that goes up to... 
don't think that's that's not where a camera is. I keep on accidentally jerking on those. They, I'm not going to try to move it around and show things right now. When I if I end up really taking it apart, because you know it's working fine when it's plugged in, so I don't want to make that not work. You know, when I get to really replacing the battery, I think I better measure that battery. Dropped it in the floor. I got this all in my lap. That was my measuring tape. But I do have this machinist square sitting here too. So I think I can do it with that. Let me get. Always have a backup. <laughs> Don't drop your backup <laughs> either. So, uh, oh yeah, there's wiring to the battery. That's actually more important as far as finding a replacement battery than. In the uh, where's the battery? Here's the battery, and uh, wiring is right under there. Not even, yeah, there it is. You just can't really see it. Well, let me just measure it here. So basically the battery is I can't read this anymore. Oh okay, so it's about three and three quarter inches, three seven hundred. So I would just give it a little more and say three and three quarters what they're gonna size it at. It's probably size of millimeters, but I think it's the same the other way too. Can't tell. Let's see. Let's see. Can't hold still enough. Yeah, it's pretty much square, three and three quarter inches. And uh, I'm such in an awkward position here. I'm not going to try to write anything down right now, although it would be a good thing to do. Now let me drop it down again. <clears throat> this was what I, what I actually wanted to make a video of, and I had not. I had ordered a tripod that I was wanting, and I thought, well, I need to use my new tripod, and so I ended up making a two-hour video on my new tripod. Now it's three in the morning. Okay. There's the wires for the uh, going to the other oh, circuit board there. Oh, I see. The battery has uh, one pin enough attention. That's a, it's a blue and a, a black and a red. So I'm pretty sure they're, uh, you know, when I try to use a magnifying glass, it gets a reflection off of that light in the ceiling. Makes it worse. So, yeah, see those, um, see those ribbon cables? I didn't think about them going to the battery, but I believe they do. You see, you can kind of see now the black and the red that are soldered on there. Yeah, see, you can't, re this is not a snap-in replacement. This is... Uh, I still don't think those ribbon cables go to the battery, though. I think they're just going under it. Probably, I wonder, why would they be under it, though? I mean, why would you put your connector for your screen under the battery? But that looks like it's got too many traces on there for it to be just a battery management. Oh, and that one goes on by underneath. Goes on to other. Probably the camera. Yeah, goes to the camera. So that's the camera ribbon cable. And I'm going to take a guess of saying that wide one is uh, plug it into the screen. It could go to the battery, I guess. But it looks to me like it just goes under the battery. Yeah, it does go under it. I'm not going to take it. Like I said, oh, <laughs> it goes all the way to the other side. To our 
buttons, maybe. Yeah. There's no buttons there. Buttons are over here on this other side, I think. Yeah, the buttons are on the other side. They're straight onto the motherboard. So these... Oh, there's a model number. LCD. That's the LCD. I was right. It goes to the LCD. But I didn't... I wasn't... I was micro looking at the... I'm looking at the screen, not actually at the deal, you know. And I just didn't see the whole picture. So, uh, yeah, it says LCD right there. And I could see where it plugs in on the edge of the LCD before I even noticed the letters. But now this must be the model number of it. Every time I move it, it gets harder to read. I'm trying to get it straight. I just need to get it in the light to where you can read it. Okay. JLTBI10119P40-28D. This is what I want. This is why I wanted to make a video because I can't write stuff down well. I I, my eyes swap letters and numbers. And uh, I, I just can't hardly write things down well. 2017-11-18. I'm reading them out so that um, that helps me to make sure I'm getting it right. Too. One, one like when I listen to it back. Yeah, here we go again. I'm not going to read it this time. Okay, that's all I needed about it. Um, I think it's pretty interesting. I've had it for several years. I guess I guess that 18, was that a date? I think that was probably 2018 when it was made. Yeah. Oh, 2017. 11, 18, 17. Okay, so this one it was made, and it was... This is an 8-core tablet, 10-inch, 8-core, and that's that's one. I'm sure I bought it. I am out have been 2018 when I bought it. I bought it at Christmas. By the time, you know, it got out, out at, at Amazon and ready to go be sold, it might have been 2018, 18, <coughs> 19. <coughs> it could have been 2019. Um, let me go to the desktop. Now let's go to the camera floor again. Get this out of here. Since I had to be on the S and fifty eight, I had to be right here on my keyboard for me. Now Oh yeah, this is what I was gonna do. I think I can tilt this thing to where we can see it. Oh my camera, I think. Yeah, there we go. So that's the whole thing. Of course, I can't tell. Well, I couldn't. This camera won't even shoot up close anyway. It just won't do it. Uh, so uh, it's actually a little too close for it. You can kind of tell everything's a little more, a little blurry. And I've got the cover. I'm going to snap it back together, before, like I said, before I break something. But... Um, all the little, all the little tabs, they so snap into place and make sure I haven't broke anything. Now that's the speaker wire, so it wouldn't keep it from working, but, you know, I don't want to do anything, any harm to it if I can keep from it. And this is the way I had it open it up from, was from down there, so I'm going to try to put it back together the same way. Oh, it snaps together real easy. I was afraid it would be kind of hard. Yeah, there's the camera right here. Oh, I picked it up. We're out of the view. I was just squeezing it, going around it, squeezing it. Not even very hard. As long as you got it lined up. Somehow I got... Now, there you go. There's another couple. One or two. Yep, there's another one. I'm not having a squeeze hard at all. Most stuff I've taken apart of this type, you know, plastic stuff like this is harder to work with than this. I actually like the design. It's kind of funny because this is the China thing, you know. Uh, of course, everything is made in China, I mean, or somewhere overseas. We don't. We. I grew up in a time when we ha everything we had was made in America, almost everything. 
And it was, yes, it was better quality. No, there ain't nothing made in that kind of quality anymore. Very few things. There are some things, but, of course, they cost a fortune. They might be made here. They might be made somewhere else. I have noticed that last couple of years that some quality stuff comes out of Vietnam sometimes. Uh, now I can't think of the name of the place. Um, hard drives. There's a, pl a country where they make a lot of hard drives. And saying, can't think of the name of it. Uh, Indonesia, that's it. Indonesia makes some good hard drives. Makes some crappy ones too, but uh, that's the only two countries I've seen. And, you know, when America makes, when they do make stuff in America, most of the time it's made in America with <laughs> foreign goods. And if it is completely made in America, then it is, it looks pretty darn expensive most of the time. There are some exceptions. Um, and it's not the quality that it used to be when I was young. Up until I was like 30 years, 35 years old, things started changing about then. I was born in 1956. But um, put that cover. We I don't have an SD card for it. We haven't needed one. It's, I bought this for my mom. I don't really use it. I don't like touch screens. Uh, and it's not really big enough for me. I bought my 1080p monitor, uh, 20 something inch monitor, 21, I think it's 20, uh, 23, I think it's a 23 inch monitor I've had for quite a few years now. Still works great, but I was getting, having more and more trouble reading it. Um, and so I ended up, this year I started looking at monitors and this year for Christmas I got me a 42 inch, I think it is, 43 inch TV, uh, 4K. Not, I don't want that smart, you know, so-called smart stuff. I don't want the manufacturer spying on me. Uh, so, uh, and it costs more. So, it was, yeah, I got a, I got one and a bigger one, even a bigger one for the living room. We already had one that was a, a 1080p, uh, and it still works great. It's a good TV. But I went ahead and bought. They were on sale real cheap. The, uh, can't see the brand on the thing. They're from Walmart. The Walmarts, uh, and I knew about the brand since the 80s. They came out in the 80s. And it's, you know, I figure it's been around a while. It ought to be as good better, good or better than anything else out there. I'll turn it on and let's see what it, see if it does. It should just, it'll it'll boot up. And when once it gets to the, where it should post, it will just shut in. But, uh, yeah, this is MediaTek. And it's an Android tablet. But, yeah, it said MediaTek there. I still don't think that's what brand they called it on uh, Amazon when I bought it. I think they called it something else. But watch it boot up now. <clears throat> but um, um, I didn't see any loose wires or anything like that on the battery. Uh, but it boots up slow. I think it's always been like that. But uh, yeah, see it's got I figure it's got just enough power left in it to you know, just try to boot it, but then probably once it, once it really starts running. Oh, look, it's actually running. Let's see. Get it to if I can get it to tilt right. It logged on. And then, <laughs> isn't that something? That probably won't run. Let's find out. Uh, let's see. Well, I want to see if this is still. Oop, yeah, okay, I remember now. The first time I noticed it doing this, it'll boot. Sometimes it'll boot up and it'll sit there and run okay until you try to open an app. Then, just like I said, boom. Now let's see. I have a charger. Where's the charger? Oh, right there. I have one right here. I don't like the cables twisted. Okay. okay, so now you just show on the battery signals, plugged in, it's getting power. I think I just turned it off. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so, uh, 
MediaTek is what it says on the screen. That may be the brand that it that is considered. I th that might no. That might be the brand the the A core processor. It's an ARM processor. It um, maybe it's a MediaTek processor. I remember I remember something like the name on the the name on the screen wasn't what what it was advertised when you buy it. And of course, you could see uh, at the time when I bought it, you could see some that looked identical with different brand names on them, just like all the other Chinese stuff. It's actually been real good. The only problem never this is the first actual problem we've had with it. There's one thing it's always done, and that's uh, it. Usually, when you boot it up, it will show the battery being like 27 percent, but it's not. Let's see what it says now? Can't read it. It's always done that, uh, and yeah, I know it says 85 percent. Hmm. Okay, but it wouldn't run unless it was plugged in. <clears throat> so um, let's try opening. Yeah, I open up. It's black right now, but I could tell that it was working because I could see little letters and stuff up there. This is a little. Uh, I, it'll sh if it should show my security cams if everything's still set up right. I haven't been. I haven't tried to look at them on here in a long time. It, sometimes they'll take a while to come in. Probably should have picked something else to use. Now there's one of them, and uh, yeah, and it's just the other one is this one's outside, and there's light over the vehicles, and so it can show color at it not you know, even at night. And uh, this one over here is I'm in the room, I, it's in my room, and it's looking through the window, and so with the light on in here at night, it doesn't work good at all. I used to have a phone over there, and it worked better, and this one does that, that real. It's a reg. Ctronic security camera, both of them are identical. Let's get out of that now. How do you get that to go away? That wasn't it. Go away. There we go. Okay, so anyway, it's working. And uh, <clears throat> see if, no, yeah, I'm going to have to unplug it anyway. See if it shuts down. It didn't shut down. But, uh, and the battery still says 85%. It's kind of funny that it would do that. It shows a Wi-Fi. And we haven't ever used it as a phone. It's got this. I thought my mom would use it, but she, you know, that's why I bought it. But she didn't want, she thought it was too big. She didn't want to use it for a phone. And she had didn't have a mobile phone, you know, at the time. She didn't want one. She had one of those Sprint flip phones, and then it got to where it wouldn't work anymore. It wouldn't charge anymore. Oh, it shut down. So it might not necessarily be shutting down because I touched something, but because that's just how long it took it to shut down. So, yeah, the battery's obviously just, uh, it's, it's, um, too weak, you know. It's not getting a full charge. I mean, it showed 83%, and you would think it would run. For you know, well, this thing used to run six or eight hours on on that battery. It's really uh, eight cores, but it was very power efficient. It's really a really good tablet. It's a we got an she's got an Amazon tablet too that my si sister got her, and it's still working. And it's older than this one, a year or two older. But uh, but it's a seven inch, and I can't even hardly see anything on it. And like I said, I don't try to use them anyway. But oh, let's get our Self back in the picture here. Yeah, so that's my new tripod, and it is, even when you're not trying, it's much much smoother of movement. I don't know if that thing's a fluid head. It it almost feels like I've I've used a real fluid head tripod before. It almost feels like it. If it's not, it's a good imitation. It, it's decent. It's not. It's not as good as one one that I used before that was a fluid head. Now that I think about it, but it's all right. It's any, and I've been I've already been playing with it for you know I adjusted all the knobs, just the right amount of resistance for me and everything. So.
So, I, yeah, I like that. So, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show what this tablet is before I quit here. Uh, yeah, I'm still live. Okay, let's go to Yeah, I bought it on Amazon. I remember that. Yeah, there's the tripod right there. It's already up to, uh, well, I'll just show it right quick. Oops. It's already back up to uh, $44.99. I got it for $34, I believe it was. Yeah, it's all right. I like it. Uh, check out, If you're interested in, the, in a tripod, check out the previous video to this one uh, today. You might be interested in it. If you want something that's not, you know, you don't want to break the bank. <laughs> Uh, it's got better reviews than some that cost a lot more too. So, and anyway, uh, there we go. I bought it seventeen. There's the cover. I didn't show the cover, but it's um, it's a decent cover. Got it in eight eight twenty eighteen. Yeah. Probably just a few months on May, well, a couple of three months later. So um, let's see if it's, the page is even still there. Yeah, that's what I thought. It was there for a long time, and it said no longer available. But well, there's a name of it. They call it LL Trade. Yeah, LL Trade. That's the brand name they gave it. Well, I mean, that's there's. Well, let's just look at it. Ten point one inch tablet. Android six is what. Well, that's what is still good on it. Unlock 3G phone, tablet, PC, 4 gigabyte. Uh, let's see. Plus. Okay, 4 gigabyte of RAM. 60. Wait a minute. Yeah, 4 gigabyte of RAM plus 60. I don't understand what they're saying there. It ain't got 64 gigabyte RAM, I know that. And the processor is an MTK6592 octa-core. <laughs> and the funny thing is, I already ordered it thinking it was a quad-core because I didn't even know they made eight-core tablets. And I was looking back, I think it's when I got it. And I said, wait, octa? That's eight. <laughs> quad is four. It had not dawned on me. I think it's when I got it here. And then I don't know the differences in all the screens, IPS screen, dual camera. Supports 2G and 3G. So you see it's getting, it doesn't support 4G or, of course, 5G. I see. And you know, I'll cut, you know what, at the time, I 4G was out, I'm pretty sure. So that's why it was cheaper. It was, I, I didn't say, I only paid $95 for it. And at the time, that was just way cheaper than any 10-inch tablet. You see, they were, they were still fairly new 10 inch tablets, you know. Um, but for some reason, they scrimped on the. Oh, I wish I would have looked at that. For some reason, they scrimped on the Wi Fi speed. Most of the time, it would only get about 15 gig, uh, gigabits per second. Uh, and I'm not talking about on data. I've never run it on data. I'm talking about on Wi Fi. Um, now, there it says DUA. LLL trade, yeah, same thing. Oh, Wi-Fi, dual trade. Oh, I guess they mean 2G and 3G. It's a weird way to say it. But LLL trade is, I guess, supposed to be the brand name. Somewhere I probably have the original screenshot I took when I bought it, but I'm not going to no need go and looking for that. But, um... <clears throat> oh... That processor, it's a good processor. I don't know how much the, uh, you know, I especially Android 6 would take advantage of 8 cores, but it really, as far as the processing power and everything, fastest tablet I've ever seen. I haven't, I haven't used a lot of them, but it's faster. On the Internet, it can be a little sluggish, but if you're just, like, trying to run a bunch of apps and stuff, it's fast. And and anyway, and what I didn't think about it, what I was I'm going around in circles, I guess. I always thought, well, I wonder if I could upgrade that Wi-Fi because you know, like laptops, they're just snap in. The, the Wi-Fi chips are just.
to snap in. They're real easy to change. And uh, I thought, yeah, it might be like that. And I've already closed it, snapped it shut, so I'm, I didn't think to look. Maybe in the pictures I can see where the Wi-Fi card is and see if it's if it's built into the board. You know, you'd be doing surface mount soldering, and I wouldn't even try that. I, I can't see good enough to do that. My hands shake and stuff, and I drop everything. But if it was a snap-in deal, like in laptops, and yeah, I could do that. Because that's the one thing that makes it disappointing is, uh, you know, you 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 can't uh, you can't wa you know you can't watch any. I mean, I don't want to set much video on it, but like looking at the security cameras, it, it's it lags, you know, it's crappy. That we saw how long it took for it to bring them on in. That's basically how. 15 megabit is just too slow for much of anything. Uh, and those, my security cameras are 5 megapixels, so, you know, they do take a little bit of bandwidth. Um, a lot of bandwidth, actually. I'm running all the time. I have to reboot my router every day because of that. <clears throat> um, but, um, yeah, that's all I can really show from, you know, about it. So let's get off of this. And I went, I picked up the, uh, this is the little blue. This is really quite nice. And it was on sale when I got it, you know, cheap. And it hasn't, uh, I, you know, I think it has worn better because, you know, the, well, it's, it hasn't been used near as much as the thing. Yeah. Uh, ever, uh, Everybody in there, you know, in the live, when they're in their living room, they grab, usually grab up that. I'm, for some reason, I guess they just, it's, maybe it seems big and bulky. I don't know. It, to me, it's just perfect. If you're going to have a tablet, I couldn't stand anything smaller than this. But uh, but anyway, yeah, it doesn't show hardly any signs of wear. And that other one, it is war. It has a, a cover for it. <coughs> and, of course, she had it a year or two before she got this one. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> this one's not worn at all. <laughs> Still looking good. So, um, that's it. Um, I will now have this video for myself to, you know, get those part numbers. I'm not going to look tonight. I'm going to bed now, finally. Um, see what about getting a battery for it and everything. I'm probably, well, I can, I can think about quite a few places to get batteries now, good places. Can't think, well, the one, the first one that comes off my mind is Adafruit, you know, the uh, electronics kit store you know you can buy all kinds of batteries and packs and stuff and, but there's battery places that well the ones i'm thinking of that sell just batteries i'm not talking like batteries plus or something like that i don't know if they're still in business but I'm talking about uh, places that sell uh, like used used medical batteries and uh, just all kinds of different batteries for people that like you know a lot of people like to build their own lithium ion battery packs and so you can buy a very expensive battery for you know i don't know about a quarter to a half of what it was new you know uh, which is that's pretty good you know so battery like batteries that you could end up spending 500 to a thousand dollars to get you know a little set of you i'm not talking about one well i'm going into all that but Anyway, they have, I have to look back. I can't think of the name of the battery place. Wait a minute. Yeah, I hate when, you know, somebody talks about something and they're like me and they don't, they can't remember anything and then they just leave it at that. <laughs> I have links. So, um, I can find it. Okay, so I got a pretty big oh that's a okay. the um got quite a bit of links on batteries here, so let's see what we got. Battery. 
It's supposed to be battery hookup, .com, not battery. That was the one. One of the ones I was thinking of. I don't know why it's. Oh, I got that. Uh, like I was watching battery uh, videos on batteries, you know, being built uh, and tested and stuff. They'll buy those. There's a, one guy in particular that's really good and technical. Yeah, battery hookups. One of them. That's how I found this. His videos are real good. I can't remember the guy, but uh, every kind of battery. And see, like, oh, is that a, no? I'm not sure if that's new batteries. I, I know most of them are used that they sell. See, there's a battery pack you could build up. Life pole. Not sure what that's out of. But that, that's see, that's those are used ones. But they see in a medical field, they can't. I think once they get down in eighty. 80% of their, you know, rating, they have to get rid of them for safety. You know, laws saying they have to get rid of them for safety. But what you can do, like, you can, uh, that says a new box, 18650s. Yeah, I think maybe some of them are new. But, yeah, you know, there's a Jeep, electric Jeep battery. I didn't know they had an electric Jeep, but it says Jeep 12S. Those. those are 22 650s so anyway um, oh now here's yeah now here's a good way to get batteries and that might be what I want to do 10 pounds of mixed mostly medical packs 60 to 80 cells $20 wow now if they're all just 18 650s and stuff it wouldn't help me I gotta have a I don't see a picture of anything thin like what I need. I'd have to be able to find out what's in there. I was really interested in, you know, the used A6, you getting, you know, used A1650s 1650s and building battery packs for my drills and stuff. And it, I watched enough videos to see that, that most of the time when you get, well, until I discovered this medical stuff, if you just buy used batteries, um, They're probably going to be, you know, like from laptops and stuff like that. They're kind of, be, most of them are going to, so many of them are going to be so far gone uh, that you're just going to work and work and work and you're still going to end up with bad batteries. Uh, yeah, there's, uh, that might be that guy's video, one of his videos, let's see. I don't want to play it, though, do I? I'm doing a lot of video. Yeah, that's him, Lithium Solar. He's real good. Not going to play it. Uh He's kind of, you know, got a partnership with this company now. He's not, he doesn't, you know, he doesn't own the company or work at it or anything. But, uh, yeah, let's just see. Three point, I wasn't going to search for batteries, but I'm doing it anyway. What was it, 3.6 or 3.8? 3.8? 3 3 3 let's see. Try that first. Maybe it's 3.6 and 3.7. Try 3.6. There's something. This looks like uh, 18650s though. 12 volts. Eight. No, they're twenty-two six fifties. Ten dollars is all ready to go. See, some of them you buy a pack that was out of something and then you rebuild it. Ten dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, with the little deal, I think they came out of something though. I think I don't think they built it up, which is fine. I mean, that looks like what it must have came out of. Or is that what somebody put it into? I don't know. I don't want to get all into that right now, but uh, they're sold out of those anyway. Okay. See if there's any 3.7 volt. Maybe those um, 20. I haven't. I don't even. I'm not 26 650s. I'm not even familiar with them, but 
They must be 3.6 volt batteries. 3.6. Yeah, I didn't see any flat battery pack. Let's try that. Oh, let's set, just say 3.6. Oh, I did. I just want to see if they have anything like that on it. There we go. Yeah. So, uh, put that in there. Yeah, see, there's a 3.7 volt. Now, why didn't that come up a minute ago? 10 pack, 1250. But you got to make, you know, no, all I have, I think all there was was a, I'll have to go back and look at the video again and uh, once I'm on tomorrow, you know. Uh, if it's only got a red and a black wire, you're good, you know. If it's got some other wires or and the size and all that, that one looks like a. Yeah, they sell that stuff too. If you're going to build your own batteries, they got all kinds of stuff like that. That one's 36 volt, 48 amp hour power module. And I was looking at, I was, you know, wanting to, thinking about big things, you know. And see, that's 19 of them for $25. Of course, I don't need 19 of them. But, you know, you're going to pay that much or more for a single battery pack from, say, Adafruit or whatever. Um, you don't know how old they are. That looks a lot like the battery that was in here. Yeah, it's got a little plug on it, but you can always, uh, you know, if you don't have anything to plug it into, you can just solder it to, or use a quick connector to, uh, like a crimp connector. To <laughs> crimp connectors I've got are really for cars, and they're probably too big to fit inside of there. But, uh, yeah, 10 pack, 3.7. With the BMS, how about that? Depends on how thick. Oh, it's thicker than I thought. Yeah, don't think it would fit in there. All you need is the right, uh, you know, the right voltage. If it's more amp hours, that's good. You don't want something that puts out so much power that it burns up your system. Though. You don't want your voltage and well, like with, uh, you know. Well, with power supplies, you really have to watch that. You can, uh, especially some of the, uh, most electronics have good protection circuits now, but they didn't always used to, and you could burn up your, whatever it was, if you had to, say you put a, it was supposed to have a half an amp or an amp, and you put a two or two to, well, probably if you put a four amp on it, you know, it would probably blow it out and stuff like that. Anyway, that one, that thing was thin. I don't know. I don't know. It's folded in half is what it is. Or it's a double pack or something. No, it's not folded. I think it's two packs. It looks to be close in size, but... Uh, tablet. Tablet. Yeah, I, I might end up... Uh, I don't think uh, the their batteries don't come from tablets and things like that, so I don't think. Since that is easy, you know, I was thinking I just want a new battery, but my gosh, ten of them, two fifty, if I can sign, you know, or the hour one for, uh, yeah, one for a dollar thirty. That one looks pretty thick. There's one that might be. There's a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, most a lot of lot most of the newer batteries like this they come with a BMS, so you you won't you don't have so much worry about whether they're getting overcharged, undercharged, and all that stuff. That one looks interesting. Can't see my keyboard. I'm so tired. <sighs> Type. 
Okay, so yeah, that's enough battery. Yeah, this was the face I was thinking of. Um, I really, you know, I, I joined Alibaba years ago, and I've been, and I tried to buy something once, and they uh, they said, "Oh, uh, use my credit card," you know. And uh, actually, I think I might have actually tried to buy it on AliExpress. That's part of it, but. Uh, he sent me notes, you know, notes saying, no, oh, please play with PayPal. Uh, they didn't, it was really it was just a bunch of crap. It didn't make sense, you know, they weren't. And I, I was like, I gave him a credit card number and authorized you to charge it. I ain't going to pay you twice, you know. And then I saw one of the guys I like to watch uh, videos. Uh, he was saying, he said the same thing happened to him and he did it and it, he got his stuff, you know, but I wasn't going to take it. You're not going to order from the Chinese and pay them twice and trust them. I mean, come on. So, uh, especially when they, you know, they didn't even write in full sentences. And you really just, you know, just cheesy. So suspicious. And, of course, if I'd have done it, I'd have probably got ripped off. But, uh. Okay. So anyway, I was look. I was kind of telling that story and looking at what I had there. Harbor Freight stuff. There's some tools that are all right. I've gotten a few things from them, but some of them are just crap, absolute crap. And then some of the actually, it seems that stuff that they sell like add-ons, peripherals for your tools, they seem to be real crap. Like I was watching a video uh, where a guy was testing out a bunch of different bed liners. The Harbor Freight one was terrible. So, and I've been noticing that. I've got a Harbor Freight air compressor. It's great. I've had it over a year now. I don't use it all the time, uh, but it is plugged in all the time and stays full of air. Um, and uh, I like it. It's noisy as all get out, but it's a it's a good air compressor. And it, it'll run. And I, oh yeah, and I bought the uh, half inch impact wrench. I I've, I've uh, and uh, it's great. It's very powerful. And I just, I was rolling my mouse wheel and it did that. I hate it when it does that. It, I don't know exactly in what conditions. Somehow, oh, I see what it did. It, I rolled my mouse wheel just like that, just to move, you know, the up and down. And it actually opened that up. I don't know, maybe when I was rolling it, I accidentally punched it down. Yeah, that's what I did. I accidentally push when you push down on the mouse, the rolling wheel, it, uh, it will do that. So that's what I did. I didn't feel like I did that, you know. So anyway, I don't think there's any. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of not into the 18650 deal. Now, if, if I was going to go for um, any, you know, batteries like this, I would go for uh, modem batteries. Huh. Yeah, see, they got all kinds of stuff here. I would probably go for, uh, well, I kind of showed one, uh, those big battery packs. And, I, I mean, I've seen them take them all apart. And, and uh, see, like, things like this, that kind of thing. That I believe that's what's in these these. And, uh, you know, something with a real, oh, they got some tool batteries. Now, I wouldn't fool around with those anymore. They would become cheap enough, you know, just, I bought, I bought uh, a DeWalt. What am I doing here? Oh, yeah, I am showing the, I bought a DeWalt um, impact wrench about a few months ago. And it came with a, uh, um, like a two and a half amp hour battery and a charger. And it's great. You know, it's power, it's powerful. I like it. Uh, matter of fact, it's too powerful for driving. You know, I go back in the, and, I, and I have an 18 volt DeWalt set, you know, with a, uh, with a Sawzall and a, 
and a drill, which will you know, which is what I always used to drive screws with since the since the seventies. Uh, well, didn't, didn't use battery. I still have my Makita drill I bought back in the eighties. I still use that sometimes. Uh, still works. I had to cord uh, broke inside one time and I had to cut it off and put it back in there. And it's been that was after it's working about thirty years since then. Uh, um, and I think the McKee drills they made back then, they were trying to, you know, build a name for themselves and they were better than the ones you would get now. But, um, the, uh, I've got, uh, I've got a, a six volt Makita that the battery went bad in, you know, and a few months, about well, last year, I saw the battery plug-in replacements and I didn't order them and then I quit seeing them. I probably should have done it. They're China batteries, you know, but it, it, you have to, some China, if, it, the only thing I can see, I've watched videos and studied, uh, the only thing I can see is just watch the, the ratings and if you catch one that has good ratings, you know, that'd be the one to try it with. <laughs> I mean like eight, 75 to 80 percent five-star ratings. And look at the one stars and see what's wrong. If they catch on fire and stuff, I wouldn't risk that. Uh, if anything, anything electronic or electrical. But the uh, I already had the 18 volt, uh, you know, ha half inch drill. There wasn't any, there wasn't anything wrong with that. Just the batteries, you know. Uh, the uh, what is the other tool? There's three tools in there, I think. Well, anyway, I can't think if there's another tool. I know it has a solves all, you know, uh, whatever the reciprocating saw, whatever you want to call it, and the drill, and it's oh, and it's a hammer drill too. So it's real handy, you know. It's a handy drill. My Makita drill is not a hammer hammer drill. <coughs> so uh, anyway, I bought uh, an adapter to go, you know, to fit the 20 volt batteries on the uh, 18 volt tools, and then I bought two more China 5 amp hour batteries. I already have a charger, so I didn't buy it. I didn't, kind of thought about it, but I thought, well, let's just get started and see. And uh, I don't use the, my tools that much anymore. So, uh, and I'm set up now. And that 18 volt drill, man, it rip, rips and roars with a 20 volt battery in it. I had already known that it wouldn't burn them up or anything. Years ago, I thought that would probably burn them up, but or I thought it might work, but it, I didn't know, and I wasn't going to just risk it. But you know, with with more and more um, product and how-to videos on YouTube, I've been into it since before there was a YouTube into videos and stuff, you know. Um, it, uh, it, you know, I finally uh, decided to do it. So, but I still have a 12 volt uh, DeWalt and a six volt Makita that I need to get to, that I need, want to get batteries for. But I don't think I would try to build them. It, you know, it's a lot of work. And, and buying used batteries, this company seems good. Uh, they actually check their batteries and stuff, you know, before they sell them. But if you just go buy a bunch of old laptop batteries, and that's what everybody was doing, you know, best, best price I saw. For a while there, you could get an 18650 for, you know, a brand new one of a good, decent, half decent brand, you know, uh, for a dollar. I think they were still probably made in China. Well, they might have been made in like Indonesia or something. But anyway, uh, but they went up and stayed up ever since then. That was a couple, three years ago. But, um, and it's just a lot of tedious work. It's, and messing with used batteries, man, I've watched people go round and round and round. Once you get a battery pack built and then one of them that was okay when you started, it's getting too weak now. And then finding it and desoldering it and taking it out, you know, and all that crap. And, uh, I decided that just wasn't uh, wasn't worth that kind of trouble. But uh, but when you get up into the higher end, more expensive batteries, uh, then the difference between you know you spending five to eight hundred dollars instead of uh, fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars, you know, for your same same amount of power yeah that that would be well see like these this one used is for net four four forty nine uh, that one's two ninety nine 
So when you start getting into things like, say, building an electric car, I was interested in doing that too. I have been since. I almost bought an electric car back in 1976, 75, 76. You'll see them on YouTube once in a while. They were 1200, I think, brand new. Well, all they were really was a golf cart with a with soft top on them, you know, like a Jeep. And uh, I started to buy. I was married and young and married, and I had a, I had gotten a little bit of money, and I could buy it right out. And uh, uh, and I, I had a let's see, did I have it then? I had. I had a 64 panel truck. I ended up putting a 454 and a turbo 400 in it. And uh, I w- I've always liked mechanics and electrical things. And I like saving money when I can. But I never did something just to save money. I loved hot rods and four wheelers and, you know, and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't actually get a four wheeler until the uh, 89, 90. But uh, I liked them. And uh, four before truck, you know, um, not a four wheeler for the little, you know, not one of those little things. They didn't have those back then. They had three wheelers, but anyway. Um, but I had a seventy SS Chevelle. That I think I got it in seventy six. Yeah, I had it in seventy six. And see, I also had the sixty four panel truck, which I put the four fifty four in around in there somewhere, and. Uh, 454 with automatic transmission is what I put in it. It came with a six, and a, a one, a blew one up, and then the other one was worn out when I got it. Blew it up up in Colorado, trying to drive up Mount Pisgah. <laughs> Mount Pisgah's lofty heights. <laughs> Didn't make it. But, um, so anyway, the idea of, uh, you know, my wife, I was going to get a car for her. And I thought, the idea of her, uh, and we were, I think she might have been pregnant at the time or, or we already had the baby. The idea of her driving in, uh, down the street competing with, I had an SS Chevelle and a, and a big old truck. And I thought, my gosh, if any of this, anything, even a compact car ran into her, she'd be dead, you know. I mean, if a Ford Pinto ran into her, she'd still be dead, you know. So, uh, I, I mean, soft top, about the size of a golf cart. I mean, I thought they were cool. I still think they're kind of cool, but I would not, I wouldn't want to drive one on the street. Not with me out there running around, hot rodding all over the place. <laughs> and everybody else liked me. So, uh, and where we lived, uh, the main streets to all the stores, that was where all the kids hung out, out, out every weekend, you know, uh, cruising. And, uh, well, we would go down there, too, sometimes. Go down and get a uh, get a burger, uh, go to Burger King, get a Whopper, and then pull over. Well, I'd pull into the parking lot of where I worked and uh, set up there by the street, you know, where I work. I work way down in the back of the place. But at that time, I was running a car wash. And uh, anyway, we would... Uh, We'd set up there. We didn't get set down there with the whole wild bunch, you know, because we were an old married couple, like 19, 18, 19, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> I think I was, I was probably 19 at that time. But uh, And I had a good friend that I worked with, and he was dating a girl, and most, most of the time he would be, he, he they would be cruising, and they'd see us, and they'd come talk to us, you know. A couple of times, come some of the kids... Some other people just stopped by. I think maybe they saw me hot rodding the, the 454 in the panel truck and stopped by. I think that's what it was. They had seen me peeling out somewhere or something. They came out and said, what do you got in that thing? You know. But, uh, yeah, we were in the panel truck then when we were doing that. I don't know if we ever did it in the, in the SS. I would cr- go up and down, you know. We'd go through there, but didn't stop. and just sit on the side of the road. I think we uh, had already had enough of that. But, uh, but I didn't do any of that stuff when I was in high school or anything. Didn't do any cruising or anything for whatever reason. I think it was mostly because I didn't have money to 
pay for the gas. But you know, there's a pack. Oh, that's one of the ones I saw, I guess. See, now there's a really uh, good looking battery pack. 3.7 volt, 96 amp hours. I don't, you know, 355.2 watt hours. What am I? Join me again. Where's the desktop? This is where I'm looking at. Keep going back and forth. This one. I thought that was a pretty good looking one. It's $45. Power block. Oh, that's not a I think that's uh, just a, uh, uh, I can't even think of the word, the word we use, oh, a, a junction, junction block, but I guess this one is for power, a uh, place to screw down all your terminals to, to connect all your batteries together. Oh, that's an ammo can battery, that, you know, everybody's making those on YouTube. Oh, well, that's just a battery can with binding posts already in it. Yeah, so uh, I was just going up and down this page, seeing what was in there. I do need some more of those. I think those are, no, those aren't flush cut. I think those look like uh, snap ring pliers. Well, maybe they have snap rings on some of this stuff. I thought they were flush cut. That would make more sense. Maybe they are what I thought, flush cut wire cutters so you can cut things off smooth. Mine have been damaged. And they uh, don't cut all the wires and it gets aggravating, you know. That's the whole point of them is to get a real nice smooth cut. And I paid 25 bucks for them. They were for at Radio Shack. They were good, but somebody else used them for something besides the wire. Dented the heck out of the teeth. Ah. Uh, Fall asleep sitting here. I don't know what I'm doing this for. Okay, so I said it'd be a short video, but I lied again as usual. So anyway, that's a cool site. Uh, I, I think of uh, anybody I've seen that bought. Well, there's only been one guy I've really seen. Yeah, I saw him, and then I told another guy. Well, I told him on his YouTube channel. You know, he he was doing battery stuff. So check this out and check this store out. And he, I think, uh, not too long after that, he bought some stuff from him. So it looked, seemed all right. So uh, I haven't bought anything from them. Yet. Can't say for sure what they're like, you know, but they seem. I like what what they got on there. So um, that's it. It's my short video. That lasted an hour and eight minutes. <clears throat> I knew I couldn't do it. I just. I just wanted to think I could. But anyway, I'm glad I did that because now I can go about my finding a battery and put the uh, tablet, you know, back in the living room where it can be used until then. And I especially, I didn't want to snap it all up and have to open it back again, you know, because it, you know, that, those snaps, sometimes you'll, next time you try it, it breaks something, you know, and I didn't want to break anything. But um, anyway, that's that. That's uh, my plans for the tablet. And pretty much, well, I have seen people like opening up, you know, those I, uh, Mac tablets and all that. You know. And they're hard as heck to get apart. You gotta have, you gotta, of course, some people sell these spudger kits and everything. Yeah, that's fine, you know, but you, you do need something. I mean, most of the things that they sell in those kits is stuff that you could uh, probably have around the house or take a piece of plastic and sharpen it with your knife, you know, to get it to go in in there. Um, but it's convenient. Anyway, uh, and I've taken apart laptop uh, bezels and stuff. You know, I, I destroyed a monitor one time. Uh, I was I had already taken a few apart, and I wasn't quite as worried about it this time. And my screwdriver just slipped and went like that. I was using a screwdriver because, you know, I didn't have any plastic thing that was suitable. It had to be strong enough. You know, it was pretty hard to get apart. And it hit just the wrong place on that on that uh, monitor and just, you know, ruined it. 
half of it would work and the other half was black, you know, and had weird colors in the middle. So, uh, you can learn stuff. You got, you got to be careful taking apart that, uh, things with the, with built in monitors, especially. You know? And I mean, if you stick in a screwdriver in there and you, and you hit some power and some ground, you can short something out, you know, too. So don't do what I do. Kids do what, do what, uh, Everybody tells you to do. Don't do what everybody tells you to do either. <laughs> Just use some common sense. All right. I'll see you later. Bye.